All right, we are wrapping up with our trip in the little 2.7 turbo four cylinder. It's This is the custom truck, so it's pretty plain Jane, like no extra knobs or buttons, cloth seats, uh, two wheel drive. So pretty plain Jane. We ended up going 132 and a half miles and this is pulling, uh, it's starting to get dark here. So uh, we're pulling our trailer, aluminum trailer with a side-by-side -side on it. Guessing it's about 2,400 pounds. Don't really know. Never rolled across the scale or anything. Just ballpark that that's about what it is. So this is the 2.7 turbo four-cylinder. And a couple notes on fuel economy before we actually talk about what we got. This truck has active fuel management. It's got the start-stop, which in tow haul, that's disabled. So that's a little, uh, little tidbit of information. If you don't want the auto start-stop to be plaguing you you can just keep your truck in tow haul so anyway we were in tow haul this whole time so start stop hasn't been anything to help us save fuel on this trip uh, this does have variable valve timing which a lot of motors do have but this actually has variable valve lift active thermal management which that's our, our little duramax the three liter duramax shares that same thing too so active thermal management which means it has a rotary valve that can change and dictate where the coolant goes so I'm saying all that. These are all things that Chevy has tried to do to increase fuel economy. Lastly, they got a continuously variable oil pump. Like right now, we're at maybe 20, I don't know, 28 PSI or something like that. So anyway, pretty low pressure. And according to the computer, we got 14 miles per gallon. Now, we tried to minimize idling as much as we could so that our numbers wouldn't be skewed so when we were loading we didn't have it idling so computer says 14.0 and here's calculator we actually got 13.6 so 132 miles and then the dang thing didn't print out our fuel mile or how many gallons we got i took a picture with my phone but that's the phone that's doing the video right now so we already did the math beforehand and longhand, it comes out to 13.6. So it's actually a little bit lower than the uh, readout is saying, whereas our Duramax is the opposite. We actually are getting higher than the readout says. But anyway, all in all, I don't really feel like that's all that bad, and I don't know that you could beat that with a 5.3, and I certainly don't think you'll beat it with a 6.2. The 6.2 is only available in 4x4, so that right there would uh, decrease your fuel mileage at least just a little bit. So anyhow, the, I guess your other option would be maybe the 4.3. They have five different motors in the Silverado now. The 2.7, 3.0 Duramax that we have, 4.3, 5.3, and 6.2. So the 4.3, it, it gets V8 fuel mileage, but V6 performance. So I, I don't even really feel like that's a contender. I feel like that is available for folks just for like work trucks or something like that. So long story short, we got... 13.6 was it? 13.6. 13.6. Yeah, that was 13.600. So pretty much 13.6. So that's it. That's our uh, time with this little, what was this engine code? Uh, L3B. So I don't think we'll have it much longer. I think they'll be getting done with our little LM2 Duramax and we'll be back in our Duramax. So anyway, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one.